Hey guys, welcome to the new section of the course, Structural Pattern. So far we've looked at patterns for holding and returning data and for combining objects into larger ones. Now we'll be looking at the user's choice of selection. In this section we'll be first generating the list and then we'll be looking at the layouts. Further, we'll be connecting data and translating string resources. Finally, we'll be using various patterns to filter data. Now we move on to the first video of this section, generating lists. In this video, we're going to apply Recycler view and Coordinator layout to generate list. The Recycler view is a relatively recent addition and replaces the list view on older versions. It performs the same functions but manages data far more efficiently, particularly very long lists. The Recycler view is part of the version 7 support library and needs to be compiled into the build.gradle file as shown here. These are the dependencies. The coordinator layout will form the root layout of the main activity and will look like this. The Recycler view can then be placed inside the layout. This is the code that we'll add inside the Recycler view. In the activity underscore main.xml file, we've created a file for generating the list. When we run our project, we'll get this as our output. The Recycler view provides a dummy list for us, but we'll create our list from card views. In this video, we used Recycler view and the coordinator layout for generating lists. Great.